Meet 24 year old Rosalind Kasoha Shienze, a certified public accountant with training in all the levels to CPAK. She also has a degree in international business management and another in accounting, complete with a certificate from the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. I tried to look for a job for about three years and it was not, I wouldn't get. One, they were telling me I need more experience and then people wouldn't believe that those are my qualifications because I looked pretty young. She ends a ventured into the fashion industry despite having all it takes to get a white collar job. She now has 12 employees with five outlets and international exhibitions in Tanzania and Switzerland. My mom didn't like it at the beginning considering she had so much hopes that education would be the light of my, my life which was at, the, at that moment. But along the way, she decided to support me. And when she decided to support me, that's when I started having my big breakthroughs. Perhaps the most common question young people get is, what do you want to become in future? And with it comes the pressure to impress. But with the headlines such as these, and a curriculum designed to praise academic qualification, as opposed to practical skills, many youth opt to chase after peppers. The youth need to be more aware about the potential opportunities of technical vocational education training. After all, TIVIT skills and competencies are uh, essential. Currently, there are 203 technical and vocational education and training centers in the country. 11 of them are national polytechnics with a capacity of 7,000 students. Last year, 98,000 students enrolled in the TVET institutions. 593 of them had university qualification but opted for practical skills. In essence, no child is a failure. That as long as you're willing, you, you can never be a failure. If you want to join a public TVET institution, it will cost you 56,420,000 shillings per year. The Higher Education Loans Board gives up to 40,000 shillings and an additional government capitation worth 30,000 shillings. The extra 13,580,000 ,000 shillings covers student upkeep. Even then, there are concerns that the institutions have not kept up with the technological advancement and most of the equipments used are obsolete. We are making efforts to reintroduce uh, modern equipment in departments. I am a mechanic by, I would say, by profession. The usual go to school and get a job did not work for Boniface Ongeri. We ran into him collecting a client's vehicle for repairs. He decided to pursue his passion for cars after high school and now employs seven people in his garage situated in industrial area. There were no jobs actually. I tarmacked for some time, about for, for like five months I thought. I can start my own since I had a small experience from my intern. Boniface makes between three and five thousand shillings every day and even more at the end of the month with proceeds from corporate clientele, amounts he wouldn't have gotten through formal employment. After I got into this real life, the tamaking life, then I realized the degrees, okay, degrees are good, yes, education is good, yes, it gives you, it, it opens up your mind, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to to have them to make it in life. Last year, only 70,073 candidates attained university entry main grade of C+, plus out of the 615,773 candidates who sat for the national examinations. There's, never, there's nothing like you're a failure if you join a technical school. For me, I'll just say discover your identity. If, for example, I discovered I'm a great entrepreneur and a great marketer, when I was young, maybe I would, I would have worked on that on, from when I was young than just going to the job market, getting disappointment, getting frustrated. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.